you're still learning. What exactly at this point are you learning still? I mean, yeah, we're definitely young and we're learning. I think, uh, like what LD said, and I think I've been repeating it all year, you know, uh, this, is a, this is a potential finals team right here, you know. Even without Lowry, Van Fleet's probably one of the better backups in our league. Um, they know how to play. They've been together for a while. Nick Nurse does a good job coaching them. So, I mean, we fought. Obviously, a couple possessions where <laughs> we wish we could have back, but I mean, overall, it's a really good ball club. It's all said and done. They'll be playing in uh, late May, maybe early June. So, um, just gotta be proud of guys. They fought hard. They could have got ugly, but we kept pushing. Got it down to seven. So, I'll take it. Teams continue to target you and try and keep you <coughs> off the glass. You finished with your 12th double double of the season. Mm -hmm. uh, how does that happen? Stay active. I think. Um, it's a long game, 48 minutes. Obviously, in the first quarter, second quarter, you know, teams try to do, you know, try emphasize to the big, to, you know, try to keep me off the glass. But um, you know, I've always been told if you keep going to the glass every time, you know, guys get tired, you wear them out. So they have either two options: either A, get tired, let you get rebounds, or B, coach has something to throw somebody else in to try to stop me. So, I mean, I'm gonna keep going every time. That's what I bring to this league. So I bring, that's what separates me from other guys. So I'm gonna keep doing that every night. The group that you guys went with to finish the fourth quarter, mm -hmm. what was working so well? I think those guys are in attack mode. We, they had it rolling. Uh, you know, with JC, Alec, um, Jetty, and then whether you have either Hood or, or Larry in there with me, um, you know, those guys are all in attack mode. So, you know, we did a good job one time. We did the double away where, uh, you know, Alec and um, JC just, took, uh, just attacked the guard one on one. And uh, in this league, it's tough to stop guys with one-on-one, -on -one, especially uh, downhill guards like Alec and, uh, and JC. So uh, we try to exploit that with Van Fleet guarding them. Uh, we did a good job, and it kind of got us back in the game. Leaving the Thunder game out of it, uh, <coughs> if you maintain this the production that you've been doing this year, do you think you should be an all-star? What I worry about it every day is coming in, how I can get these guys better at the end. That's what matters to me. Um, how I can get Colin Sexton to be the best Colin Sexton could be, however I can help him, whatever jewels and gems that I've grabbed through the years, how I can help him. Uh, Larry, however I can help him, be a, be, be a productive big in our league and, and keep leading JC and, and Hood to just understand and be pro. So that's where my focus is. I think uh, when guys think about those personal things, they forget about the whole production and the process of what matters the most, and that's about your team. and, and, and how, in, how can you be an asset to the team and how can you help this franchise grow in a positive direction? So that's how I look at it. I don't know if there's. If, if that's, for, that's for you to t tell me. That's for you to tell everyone else. Uh, you want me to be an that's, that's, that's your job. That's your job. That's your job, not mine. Uh, My I job is just to rebound and, and, and uh, you know, have the coach on the sideline go crazy at his bigs for not keeping me out the glass. <laughs> Which Nick d was doing that. Um, yeah. I think that's a good coach. Can, can you. I don't know if you can answer this. But what what would this team be <coughs> if Kevin were here? I mean, at the end of the day, we know what Kevin brings to the table. You know, he's an 18 and 10 guy in our for our for our club. So, um, you know, we got a guy we can throw to on the block. So, uh, you know, that's for LD to figure out when he comes back how we're gonna throw him in, and incorporate. Obviously, right now we're playing fast and and we're moving the ball and moving bodies, and that's kind of how the NBA is being played right now. So once Kevin comes. That's for uh, you know, coaches have to figure out how we're gonna you know get Kev, you know, productive and, and get him going. But at the same time, Kev knows how to score without a post up. He can shoot the ball, catch a double, quick rip. So, I think just staring at him, watching him post up, 20 possessions a game is tiring. And I think that's something that Kevin's body doesn't need to go through. So, we gotta find other ways to help him score easy. You know, move ball, move bodies. Since beating Houston um, in this four-game losing streak, you guys haven't gotten to the 100-point mark. What hasn't been working offensively? Need to shoot. Need to shoot more threes. <laughs> you gotta shoot more threes. They say, right? How many? How many threes we made tonight? Five. Five of twenty-two. Got to, got to make more threes. Are you working on your three? Yeah. Corner threes. That's the first step. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some corner threes up, hopefully sooner or later. And the butter situation when they give me the grenades. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>